Okay, I just made gravity. So, I've been playing around with logical redstone, and this here is something called a matrix decoder. Let me show my other one. So, this here is a matrix decoder. What it does is you can plot points on the graph. Say, I want a point five, six. That isn't, yes, five, six. So, I would do four and then five because it starts at zero. And then it is, this one is one two three four five along one two three four five six up so yep it uses two decoders here to make this torch location only appear where you tell it to and then this torch setup here actually creates the pixels and so i was like because earlier on i had built this thing is it this thing i think yeah this is this thing where you can this is called an incrementer so every time you press the button it adds the right input to the left input so like that's one we've got three now four it's really clever but basically there's a thing because of binary addition there's a thing called two's complement which means if you turn all of them on in two's complement this is minus one basically um it overloads the system so it basically just goes down see that's minus one and so i was like why don't you make a negative accumulator on a clock and then hook that up to the y value of a um matrix decoder this is what i've done here we have a three bit accumulator uh, here it you don't turn this on this is minus one in two's complement and this is a clock linked to gravity so i can turn gravity on and the pixel falls i can't go any faster otherwise the system turns absolutely mental look here's the clock turn it okay that's slower i just slowed the tick right down That is fine. What? <laughs> okay, now gravity works as normal. I think this is the working gravity. Yeah, this is working gravity. But if I take this pulse here, it's pulsing there, and make it one tick shorter, gravity no longer works. Like what? Uh, so I can just lengthen the stick again and then gravity should start working normally again. But that there is gravity. So I'll run you through it all. Binary adder puts the input back round to the back. The orange circuit is the uh, the uh, accumulator. This is the input to the matrix Y value. And then it does this. And it's literally gravity that you can toggle. Not only can you toggle it, you can also toggle the speed of it. So, this, uh, how does two's complement work again? What does this do? Ah, uh, this is minus three, apparently. Oh, yeah. Ye Ooh. That's weird. I don't know, that's minus five. Yeah. What about this? That is minus some super number. This. Okay. Oh, this is minus two. That's minus two. This is minus one. And then zero is minus three. Yeah, and then minus one. Oh, yeah, you can make it go down by the speed to one. This is one. Speed one. Speed two. Or speed three but yeah speed one looks the best and you can toggle gravity like I built gravity inside of Minecraft I think that's pretty cool please subscribe it does really help my channel I'm really excited about this I don't know why but just how can you look at this monstrosity and tell me it isn't awesome not only that but this is automatically at um, position zero I can change where that pixel is i can change it to be let's say put it right in the middle and make it four o'clock cross so three there you go right in the middle well as middle as it can be i could make it like fall diagonally like um if i hooked up another one of these to that and somehow made it modular but yeah this is awesome <laughs> this is awesome this is awesome. Please subscribe. It really does help. Anyway, good. Bye.